One mom is questioning safety procedures at her son's school after she says a student pointed a BB gun at him in the middle of the school day. Administrators say it happened at Smithfield High School on Monday. Allison Basil shares the mother's concerns and the division's message to families. Smithfield High School staff sent a message to families Monday saying they took a BB gun from a student after that student showed it to another student. They say the BB gun did not have pellets, but the mother of the student who reported the incident says it left her son shaken. He said, Mom, I just froze like my heart stopped in school Monday. Monica Ponton says her son ran into a student in the bathroom who had what looked like a real gun. So he's like, I turn around. And he said when I turn around, the gun is pointed at his chest. Ponton says her son immediately notified a school staff member and the principal. She says the principal went back to the bathroom with the student. It's not until later that Ponton says the principal told her son they took an unloaded BB gun from the student. She says she met with the principal and a school resource officer and they told her the S SRO was off the day of the incident, so they called the middle school SRO for help. God forbid this this was a real gun and this had gone horribly awry. There's not even police on the premises. There's not even any backup. The police haven't even been notified. The SRO didn't even know there was a gun until he's come all the way from the middle school over here. In a message to Smithfield High School families on Monday, school administrators say they are working closely with law enforcement on the situation and handling it as a student discipline matter following division policy. Pontin doesn't feel staff met this incident with urgency. I feel like the parents have a right to know. Um, the students have a right to know what happened. And certainly someone should be held accountable. In Isle of Wight County, Allison Basil, 13 News Now. 13 News Now asked the Isle of Wight school spokeswoman what safety procedures staff followed that day. She says she can't share specifics about their safety measures or the student, but what school administrators, but that school administrators followed proper procedure.